What is up you guys? In today's video, we got the 2022 TRD Off-Road 4x4 Toyota Tacoma in the color Army Green. And we're gonna be going over some secrets about the Toyota Tacoma. First thing we're gonna go over is let's say you're working on your Tacoma and you happen to leave your door open or you're filling up gas or something of that sort and this beeping noise turns on. Now you guys can hear this beeping noise and it's happening because the door is open. Right over here, it's telling me door ajar, which means obviously the door is open. And the way to get rid of this is gonna be coming along to right here and press this button once and it's gonna basically stop the beeping. So, right there. Now there's no more beeping. You can't hear it in my background. It's still telling me that door ajar, the door is still open, but it's not making any more beeping sound and that's a way just to cut it out. Maybe if you're working in and out of your truck. All right, so the next thing is if you got a 2020 that's TRD and obviously newer, then you got pushed to start. But Toyota limits you on this and they make you pay $80 a year, but the first year is gonna be free. And if you wanna enable this, you can go in the app and you have the choice of paying either $8 a month or $80 a year. And you get push to start and a whole bunch of different options. But let's go ahead and check out how to use it. So the first thing you wanna do is just unlock the truck once and then you're gonna double click the lock button and then you're gonna hold it for a third time. And after you do that, you're gonna see some lights start to flash and it's gonna start right up. And that's it. So obviously nobody's in the truck right now and you know, it's just empty. But the only thing I hate about this is, and I guess some people said it's a safety feature, but when you wanna go ahead and enter the vehicle, when you basically unlock it, it shuts off the whole truck. So let's check this out. And now the truck just shut off. So that's the safety feature, I guess Toyota added in, but it's still pretty handy if you're willing to pay that $80 a year and you want this feature, and you can also use it through the app on your phone. All right, so now we are at the hood of the truck, and let's say you're working on your engine and you accidentally maybe just leave it open just like this. When we head on the interior of the truck, let's see what it tells us. All right, so I'm now on the inside of the truck and I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine and turn the wheel so you guys can see. It's giving me a warning that says hood ajar. So it's actually telling me that my hood is open. So I'm gonna go ahead and now close it and you guys will be able to see. And going back on the interior, it is no longer giving me that warning. Now that we're in the interior of the Tacoma, there's actually a knob right here and I mentioned this one before in one of my earlier videos but what you can do is actually twist it instead of pushing it and look what's gonna happen. So it's gonna give you the option to turn your brightness up and down. I like to keep mine a little bit low just like that, but that's something I actually read online a long time ago when I was researching and I just thought that's a really cool option and I didn't even know you can do that. All right, another feature on the interior is gonna be pressing your cruise control and if you press it once, it's gonna say radar ready. If you go ahead and turn it off and then hold it for about two seconds, it's gonna show you constant speed control ready. So now what this is, it allows you to basically go back to the traditional cruise control that we're all used to, instead of that radar one that adapts to the car in front of you. All right, now if we come over here to this screen, sometimes at night it can be super bright. Obviously right now it's during the day, but if you got you know a white screen going on and you're on the freeway and it's just you know bothering you, so what you can do is just press menu and go to the bottom right where it says display and you can actually just put screen off. And now the screen is gonna be completely black until you basically touch any other button. So now the screen just popped right back up. So now if you got a four x four Tacoma, you would notice sometimes that when you wanna put it in four x four, it's not gonna really lock. What you can do is obviously if you're in four high, make sure you're in drive and then turn your wheel just a little bit one way and boom, it just popped up right now. So that's a little tip. If your four x four is not engaging, just turn it one way or another. And then if you wanna go in four low, make sure you're obviously in neutral for this one and then push it down, go into four low. And same thing, my four low just engaged. But if it's not engaging, you can go ahead and just turn the wheel until it engages. I got a lot more coming, but if you guys can please just give a quick like and a subscribe, I'll really appreciate it and it'll really help out the channel. But the next one is gonna be a safety feature. All right, so right here on all Tacomas is gonna be this, and this is actually the rear LED light on the back. And off is gonna mean that it basically never turns on. Door, obviously when you open any of the doors, it's gonna be on. And this on button means it's constantly on. 
So this is the LED that lights up right here and you can't really see this right now during the day obviously but this is a feature that I really love because when I turn this on and I'm in a parking lot let's say like this and it's nighttime this will stay on for about 30 minutes I think to an hour something like that and it's an LED so it's not gonna suck up too much power and obviously the Tacoma has that switch so it's made to be able to run it and give it enough power so it's not gonna damage your battery whatsoever. I actually have a buddy that keeps this on all the time even when he's driving and he has a 2016 Tacoma and his battery is just doing fine. It's not gonna cause you any problems and it's a safety feature that I really love to use because if you're in an empty parking lot somewhere at night that you don't wanna be and you have this light on, nobody's gonna approach a car that has the rear light on especially if you don't know maybe someone's in there or maybe it means that they're close by or whatever it is you know if you have your normal headlights on that just kind of means like you left them on an accident but if you have only this one on specifically it could mean you know something else that people don't understand unless they're watching this video now we are back on the interior and the next feature that you guys are able to do is customize both of these screens to basically whichever color you guys like so let's go ahead and check this one out first so i'm going to be using these buttons on the right and I'm gonna go all the way to the right and I'm gonna press the settings and it's gonna be and then I'm gonna go to accent color and now I can pick whichever color I want and you know I, I really like this teal one so I'm gonna stick with that and now you can see that when I go and select something that whole line right there is that teal color that I picked out and now to do it over here you're gonna want to go to menu and then go to setup general it's gonna be theme setting and now you can pick which theme you want and over here, I like that red. Pretty sure Rob Motive has this red one as well. It's a pretty nice one, but I like just to keep it simple. So I picked this one right here. But I think the stock is gonna be this blue top one right here. So you can go ahead and let's pick the red and you can see how it changes the color like that. So I like this one right here. And this one I think comes stock just like that. And then there's also this black one. That's kind of nice as well, but this one just gives it kind of that brightness. Now, the last feature that I have for you guys is many people use it, but some people don't know about it. And if you got a Tacoma, that's something you got to use. And it's going to be the bump feature on the signal. So obviously, if you go all the way on the left, it's obviously just going to keep the constant signal to whichever way you have it. But if you go ahead and put it back to center and just go ahead and bump it, it's going to go three times and then turn off. So I like to use this when I'm on the freeway and I'm changing lanes. You know, instead of constantly just holding my hand here, waiting till I go and put it back, I just go ahead and bump it, and that's it. That's all I got to do, and it does three, and it turns right off. All right, you guys. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed these hidden features, some things you may not know, some things you probably knew. But either way, if you guys can please help out the channel just by giving a quick like and a subscribe, I'll really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys on the next one.